it's Jandra from my expressions welcome back to my channel and welcome to yet again another first impression video on the Pandora oh the Pandora Mother's Day collection sorry <laughs> I get easily distracted the Pandora Mother's Day collection um at this point I feel like saying the word Pandora is a dirty word because I work so hard to avoid saying their name on my Instagram account if you don't know what I'm talking about I will so somewhat explain in a pinned comment down below explaining why I can't stand this company anymore. But anyways, by now, if you have been following me for a while, you would know why. <laughs> um, I didn't even know that the free bangle thingy is today. Like the pre-sale, I think it is. Yeah, it says exclusive pre-sale for a free bracelet. Um, a full disclosure, I actually recorded this last week, but... I was a little too snarky even for me so I figured you know what I don't want to like actively like project animosity <laughs> so I figured I'm going to re-record it and tone down a little bit because yeah um I wasn't even being funny it was just me being pure snark so let's try again <laughs> so I did already preview this because I filmed it already I will do my best to give my first impression again um, and before I do that, let's just get this out of the way. As always, my disclo disclaimer or disclosure, um, this is for entertainment purposes only. I know for a fact that I will not like everything that you will like, and that's okay. I am not the ultimate authority on what you should like on Pandora. I have different tastes. My tastes are very part particular, very peculiar sometimes. You might have different tastes. It's okay to disagree. We can also be friends. Um, sometimes I really hate something and then someone will pop on Instagram and completely restyle it, layer it, stack it, and then I'll fall in love with it. And then I'll change my mind. So even I'm wishy-washy. Sometimes I'll hate something online and then love it in real life or vice versa. I'll love it online, you go to the store and check it out and then it's complete crap. So having said all of that, let's get started. So I'm not gonna, well... I guess I should talk about the bangle right here since it's, you know, already here. Let's see if I click on it. Will it show me a close-up of the bangle? Oh. I don't care about that. <laughs> I actually do have an account, but I haven't logged in in years, so... Who knows if it's even still, like... You know, like, available, current, whatever. Alright, we're gonna focus just on charms. I did go through the necklaces and earrings and rings in my last recorded one, but I did not really care for them. So therefore, we're going to skip them this time. Uh, new arrivals. And let's scroll down to where I don't think I recognize things anymore. Unfortunately, sometimes they interject bestsellers, which throw me off a lot. Because I'm like, oh wait, this is new. No, that's not new. And then like, these aren't new, but they're under the new arrival. So why? Okay, anyways, <laughs> I digress. Um, thanks for being my mom. I'm going to a... Well, it says bestseller. So maybe it's not new. Bestseller, not new. Bestseller. Top gifts for mom. Okay, I think... Oh, you know what, guys? Also, uh, <laughs> I just realized some things may have already been sold out, which means that it may not be here, and it was here last week when I talked about it. <laughs> so <laughs> just bear with me. We're hanging out. We're just here to shoot the shit. Oops. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shoot the breeze. <laughs> um, I do remember seeing this last week and I did not love it. I mean, it's cute and all, but I just, there's nothing new about it. Just, it just isn't something I really like. Oh yeah, I must have it in my heart forever, I guess. This is popular. 1,476 let people have, I'll get, I don't care what other people think okay um my mom doesn't really wear jewelry she doesn't collect well she does she has her own little collection from when she was young but she doesn't wear jewelry she hasn't purchased jewelry in years she's just not a jewelry type of girl so there's no reason for me to buy her these and even though i would maybe like to be like have a daughter a pair what am i gonna do with the mother part if she won't wear it she'll just accept it thank me for it and then put it in her little box and then that's it nothing's gonna come of it so I'm not impressed. Nothing new. Sorry. <laughs> it's cute, but not for $55 too. I'm just meh. I should just get over the prices, right? 
Billy Jondra, just get over it. It is what it is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I live in the past, by the way. <laughs> Love you, Mom. Okay. All right. I see here that we have the infinity, which I'm not crazy about. Never really liked or cared for the symbol. Uh, I do have one ex jewelry link with the infinity, and that is pretty much the only infinity one I, you know, jewelry charm bead I own. Only because it has a little heart in it. Uh, once again, I'm not thrilled with it. It's okay. I like the close ups though, and I like the side views. So, good job, Pandora, on that. Oh, that's cool. The back side of it, that's kind of cool. I like it. You can see this more clearly, that's for sure. Oh, wow, we have more views. Okay. Look at you. Whoa, that's really close up. Can I zoom out? But no. No, it's a visual search. What's this? No. Um, this is really zoomed out. Is it my computer, maybe? No, I can't zoom in or pinch out. Okay. 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 Calm down. All right. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It doesn't like me messing with it. Love you, Mom. Um, I don't know. It's just okay. Like I said, it's nice. Nice. Welcome back to 360 view. If only every charm had this so we can actually look at everything. Cool, cool, cool. $30. Uh, obviously, back in the day, this would have been $25. Um, I get it. Inflation. I get it. To a point. I get it. Still not loving it. It's it's a nice open, like, open... Oh, gosh. What's it called again? Open... Oh, my... <laughs> I haven't done this in such a long time that I forget the terms. <laughs> it's because I open-ended... You guys know what I mean. Open work. Oh my gosh. Open work charm. Uh, so it's nice. It's nice that it doesn't have any zirconias or enamel or anything funky going on. It's just a simple plain charm, which is nice. So I like the design enough, but just not for me. Plus I'm not a mom. So there's that. <laughs> um, this one I do remember last week saying I loved it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love that they brought the gold back. I love that it's an actual freshwater pearl. Um, the design's okay. I like the interweaving stuff. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yes, I like the back side of it and then on a bracelet. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Of course, it's gold, so I'm going to say yes to gold. Real gold, not plated, of course, right? Um, it's very lovely. Of course, the price point's a little bit uh, ridiculous, $400 for this. I'm pretty sure, maybe back in the day, back in the old school day of Pandora, when gold was more of, of a rage, you know, it was like a more of a thing. Um, I think this would have been priced at maybe $350. So, there you go. This would be a yes for me if I had all the money in the world. I would be like, yep, I'm buying it because I have money. I'm a rich grand bitch. <laughs> I was gonna say rich girl and then rich bitch came into my mind. Sorry. Pardon my French. Um, sparkly love stamp. This one I do like a lot too. Um, it reminds me a lot of the waxing poetic uh, jewelry line, which I got into a couple of years ago a lot. And I tried my best to keep on top of the collections and to buy, but they're just too expensive. And their quality is also not the best. It was very lightweight charms and pendants and it was beautiful aesthetic i gotta say i loved still love their look it's just not worth it for what they're charging the quality is okay it's very light um i'm going to assume this is two this is i just love it i love the vintage you know antique look of a stamp like enamel not enamel i'm sorry walk walk <laughs> Oh, what the hell was I supposed to say? I was trying to say wax. Wow. Not walk. Wow. Why did walk pop into my mind? Wax seal. Wax stamp. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Oh, mm. uh, I think I just lost you guys. I lost all my audience if I had any. <laughs> uh, anyways, I love that stuff. <laughs> I'm just a dumbass. Um, it's beautiful, I have to say. Uh, real gold, so love it. And um, I would I would buy this if I had again millions of dollars. This is beautiful. I bet you it's very tiny though. I mean they always blow it up here, so I bet you. I mean this is really big. I bet you it's tiny. Yeah, it's tiny, teeny, tiny. But it's gold, so I'll say yes, please. <laughs> four ninety five. What the hell? Why is this four ninety five? Because of those. That's gonna be zirconia too. It's not a real diamond, I bet. Mm hmm. 
cubic zirconia. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> uh, it's so gorgeous. I would totally buy this. Oh, this was a yes for me too. This one for sure was a yes for me. Even though it's probably maybe a little bit overdone with a family tree. And it's always a family tree. And oh my gosh, family tree. Um, I think at one point I remember counting how many family tree charms Pandora had at one point. I think it had like six. It was ridiculous. So ridiculous. But this is beautifully done. Beautiful. I just, I love it. It's perfect. It's, it's gorgeous. It's real gold. We have the beautiful like heart shape here. Right. It does remind me a lot of a Tiffany, of course, the um, olive branch, which is what I forget. This Paul is it Paul and Picasso? I remember. I love that entire collection, honestly. I'm looking it up right now because I'm pretty sure. Yes, Paul and Picasso olive leaf. The olive leaf um, is very reminiscent of the little buds or the leaves. Just it just looks like Tiffany. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven little, uh, cubic zirconias. It's just really, it's beautiful. I can't talk enough about it, how beautiful this is. This is something I would buy. And I bet you it's like $500. Let me see. <laughs> oh, okay. $3.95. That's not too bad. Maybe it could, again, open work. It's not like solid. It's more of a kind of, you know, kind of hollow, I guess. Um, it's gorgeous. I can't say any enough good things about it. This is a yes for me. Oh, four interest-free payments of ninety dollars and seventy-five cents. Oh, that's so tempting. <laughs> oh, and then gold never goes on sale either, right? So, mm, I would definitely buy this. The sparkling pave round charm. Um, this is pretty, but I feel like they've done the pave round charms. The pave round, pave, pave, pave. Uh, I would say yes, just because I'm a blingy girl. For me, the more sparkly, the better. You can never get enough sparkle to me. More is more, not more is less, or less is more here. I want the more, all of it. All the sparkle, all the glitter. Um, but uh, oh, see, it looks like a little disco ball to you right here. It's so cute. <laughs> I like it, but I just feel like I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Plus, I think it's, I mean, it will, I would love to see this in real life because I like the raised. You can see the raised and then the more recessed Curious Zirconia. So it's an interesting design, a little different for sure. I would probably buy this again. I would, but $85 is a little bit steep. Plus, I don't need it. Herbarium. I feel like I skipped a whole lot of the herbar herbarium. Herbarium? I don't know. Someone correct me, please last Christmas when I did my first impressions I did not I think many things sold out or something because I didn't see a lot of the herbarium and we're spe specifically talking about the charm I don't think I remember talking about the charm or the bracelet or any of the collection honestly so I'm not sure what happened there uh I think this is very beautiful once again I got the bling I would like to see the side view though so I guess not all of them have the 360 view I would like to see the side of it just so I can see how it's constructed it's gorgeous. It's again a lot of bling, but do I need yet another flower? No, I do not. I don't. Although, if again, if, like I said, if I had all the million, you know, all the millions of the world, wouldn't it be so cool to just have like a totally blinged out bracelet where you have just all of the paves, like this charm next to that charm, and then more of the, you know, whatever other pave charms they have? It would just be like dazzling, sparkling disco ball bracelet. I would love that. That'd be so cool. Any more blingy bracelets, fat charms, whatever now. Um, that'd be so cool. But, you know, I don't got $85 plus $85. You can you imagine? It takes about 15 I think. Is it 15 Am I miscounting if it's a bigger bracelet? Let's just say 12 12 to 20 charms to fill a regular size bracelet. Depending on how small or big your wrist is and view spacers, etc. Can you imagine like how many, how much money that would be? You know what? I'm curious. And this is $85 times. Tw well, that'd be. I can't do math. A thousand dollars. Yeah. Almost like $850 plus tax. No, thank you. Okay. Uh, this one. Okay. So I only got caught a, a glimpse of the original tree with the little, um, my gosh, what color is it? Pink and green. The original one of those? I, I don't... You know what bothers me too is I wish they'd have like similar you may like, but they don't show that one because 
I mean, it's similar, but it's not here. Yeah, whatever. Um, the other thing I'm talking about, the original one. I think, doesn't it have, like, pinks and greens in it? I literally got a glimpse of it one time in a store. This one, yes. Um, and I didn't really get to, like, look at it up close. And I I think I like it. It's a little bit too busy for me with the colors. But it's obviously very springy for sure. So we just have a copycat. <coughs> See? Another family tree here. <laughs> another family tree here. <laughs> another family tree. Hey, let's just do that. Since we're here, guys, who gives a shit? <laughs> Let me see. How many family trees? Uh, well, it's an earring, so we're not going to talk about that. Okay, there's one safety chain. Let's, let's just count that as a bead. One, two. You know, I'm going to count the earrings. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. Technically, these two, but, you know, we'll excuse that. Eleven. Yeah, it's... No, okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, getting back on track. Yikes. Okay, uh, okay, um, UNICEF. Yeah, that's cool and all, but I guess my OCD tells me that this should be a green, <laughs> a green tree. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Keep growing. That's actually very nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine little, um, hidden hearts. That's one thing I do like Pandora is that they always do the hidden hearts, which is just beautiful. And very cute and darling. I like the little trunk detail too for the wood. It is a very cute charm. I, it just bothers me that it's green. I mean, I'm blue. I feel like it should be green <laughs> or clear at least. <laughs> From a distance, it looks like a cloud to me. So, would I get this on a whim? Yes. If it's an impulse buy, if I had the money, yes, I would. Do I need it? Nope. Open a bowl. Heart chocolate gift box dangled charm. This is cute and all. How? Uh, wait, is it new? It is. This is more a Valentine's Day thing for me. I guess you can give your mom Mother's Day chocolates. Yeah, you can. Would it be in a heart shaped box? I guess. All you need is love and chocolate. <laughs> That's funny. I like the enamel also. The pink, pretty enamel pink, and then the inside chocolates looks, it looks just, be I, just beautiful. They're really, really, very, very well, very well done. The only thing I have to say though, is that I always try to avoid openable charms because eventually this loosens up and then you have it flapping around on your bracelet. I only have one openable charm, I think, and that's the, um, the little heart. It looks like a little wood grain heart. I forget what it's called. It's on my woodland bracelet, but um, I've never worn that bracelet because I'm scared of using the charm and again, having it like a flap open around. Uh, that's the only thing, but it's a really pretty charm. Don't need it for 70 bucks though. All right, that's why I do remember too. Last week when I recorded this, I did not like this charm. It bothered me. <laughs> I woof you. <laughs> Okay, um, it's a little corny, I gotta say, even for Pandora. Even for me, and I'm a cornball. Um, I don't love this at all. Is it like a double disc one? I, I can't tell. No. Is it one solid piece? Mm-hmm. I think so. Okay. I don't like that it has dog ears and no face. It's just the I woof you, you know, with... Again, no, it just, I don't know, it just it bothers me. To me, it feels like there is, where's the head, where's the eyeballs and the nose and the little tongue and everything. I just, I don't like this at all. It just, it's kind of weird looking. It's like, dis disassociated? Is that what I'm trying to say? Maybe. Like, I don't know. I just don't like it. <laughs> it's missing a face. <laughs> so it's okay. Not for me. Just married wedding bells. See? It's cute, and I kicked myself for not buying the original Silver Bell charm from Pandora. Was it Silver Bell? Was it called Silver Bells? Let me see. 
I'm just gonna do a little side pat. Oops. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. Is that it? Yes, but it's on Etsy. But it, what was it called though? That's what I'm trying to find out. Mm, no, it's not original. <laughs> it's fake. <laughs> I guess I can't remember our is this, this is Google right yeah this is Google oh no well that's not it but maybe it'll guide me to the right one nope I have this one charm I have that charm but I'm looking for the silver bells silver bells <laughs> oh I love that song by the way I like that Christmas Carol. It's one of my favorites little drummer boy and Silver Bells is, is it called Silver Bells, Christmas Carol? I think it is. It's Christmas time in the city. Oh, I love that song. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I guess it is called Silver Bells. Okay, well, whatever, my point is, I wanted that charm, I should have gotten it because I would have put it on my Christmas bracelet, but I didn't think about it because they, they market it as a wedding thing, obviously, which makes sense. Uh, me, you, and then something else. Okay, what's it say? Nothing. Ugh, I hate that. I hate that it says M-E-T, M-E-T, M-E-T. I get it. I think if it's here, I don't think you need it on these, but thanks, Pandora, for really shoving that down my throat. Just married. Okay, eh, yeah, I don't like it. I just, I guess these are inside the bells, right? Like little clackers, oh, that's what it's called. Ah. Uh... It turns me off that it's Pandora Rose, of course. I don't trust Pandora Rose. Um, it's just a way to up the price point for plated jewelry, which I don't like. Also, this is just a stupid grammatical thing for OCD people like me. It should be you and me. That's always proper grammar is you, then me, not me and you. That's improper grammar. <laughs> In you guys want to know. It's, it's you and then me. <laughs> oh, anyways, <laughs> that's a no. <laughs> oh, I remember this one. Oh, I did not like this term at all. It was so, okay. I, I get that it's hard to photograph. I get it. It's just really ugly. <laughs> it just looks like, I don't know what this looks like. It's just not cool. You have to go to the other photos to kind of, there we go. To kind of see the actual crystal, like. Reflection, reflection, reflection thingy of it. Um, Cause that picture is hideous. It's not, okay, it's much better. But the picture they used, oh, I just, I can't describe what that is. It is another family tree, by the way. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see right here, you can kind of see again that it's like reflection. Why can't I say that word today? Not reflecting either. It's another word. I can't think of the word. You guys know what I mean. It's shiny. <laughs> this is just, <laughs> It looks like brains. <laughs> That's what it was. It looks like brains. <laughs> Hi. You want to see my brain charm? <laughs> oh, I'm sure this is beautiful in real life. I have to say, I'm sure it is. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys at the beginning of this that this is more of a roast Pandora type thing now because I can give a shit about their products now. But um, I called it a first impression I had to have it. But uh, after what happened last month to my friend, if I keep doing these videos, it's mostly to roast Pandora. So, in case you guys didn't know. Oh, it is a family tree chart. <laughs> so we have yet another family tree. Okay, Pandora, I'm not sure why you keep pushing family, but okay, whatever. Uh, this is a, okay. I'm sure it's gorgeous in real life. Like I said, this picture proves it. <laughs> Online, it it looks like throw up and I'm not paying so many bucks for, is it okay, what kind of material is it? Is it like plastic? What is it? <laughs> It doesn't even say. Let's see. Pink and yellow heart. Da, 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 da. Uh huh. Transparent pink cabochon. Man made crystal. <laughs> Shaped like a heart. <laughs> Man made crystal. Okay. So. Nah. Nope. Boo. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Ugh, why do I feel like this is a recycled silver charm in, in rose? Can someone confirm that for me, please? I don't even know. Maybe not. Oh, geez Louise, this is Tiffany all over it, you guys. Come on. 
I understand that it's hard to come up with original ideas. I understand that we see other things and we get inspired by them and then you just upright and copy them, but right here, it looks just like the Tiffany Love Notes. All of me all, loves all of you. Okay. All right. I mean, it's cute and all of it. Even the script looks very like Tiffany. But it's Pandora Rose, so it's a turnoff. If it was silver, then maybe. If it was just this, I would, I would take it. Yes, but the fact that we're adding all of this bling, more bling, more bling. I just got done telling you guys that I love bling, but this is too much for some reason for me. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just, it's way too much. It's way too much. I don't like it. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> too much bling bling. Again, agree to disagree, guys. If you don't, if you love it, then more power to you. That's all it is. $95, I'm not paying for plated. Oh, I, I'm so tempted to skip this one. Maybe I should just skip it because it's dizzy. Oh my gosh. I, I remember this one now. I did not like this at all. Oh, I'm so, again, sorry if you love it, but I cannot stand this charm. Although I've already seen it styled um, on some bracelets, and I have to say it looks cute on bracelets, but just me personally, I, I it's got too much going on for me. Way, way too much. Way too, too, too much. I don't like that the bale silver with bling here. And then we got... The Pandora Rose with more bling. And then we got some like, I mean, the color is beautiful, but I, it's just too busy. Too much. And we got Milgrain here. I think that's what it's called. And then we have more Pave. And the enamel is like a cream color enamel. Like what is going on with this charm? Like it's, ugh, no. Oh my God, no. I, I can't. <laughs> Sorry. And then it's silver in the back. Like what the hell is that? You are my best friend. Oh, okay. All right. Maybe it's because I just, I'm not a Disney adult, so. Okay. Honestly, you guys, I like this better. <laughs> this is cuter to me. The back side of it. It's more uniform. It's it's the color. Even though we have the the clear zirconia here and then the red zirconia here, that doesn't bother me. That to me is much more cohesive. This is nice. I like this. I was gonna say WTF. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't like it. It's like a monster. Maybe it's too many circles. Is that why it's bothering me? What is that phobia called when you see too many circles and you kind of freak out? Is that why it's not pleasing to me? It just too many. I I I. Oh. What is that? <laughs> what you call it? What if I call it circle phobia? <laughs> or is it holes? What is that called? There it is. Yeah. Tri tri oh, here it is. Ha! Sorry. Oh, I'm going to trigger you, trigger you guys. Sorry. Okay. Well, there is a thing. It's called tripophobia, I think it's called. I don't have that, but this is making me want to have it. Like, there is just too many holes here. Way too many circles. Oh, blah, blah. maybe that's why I don't like it. Okay. Enough. I think I triggered people. I am so sorry if I did. I didn't mean to. Look away. <laughs> uh, oh, how is this new? I swear they come up, they, they, they seriously, like, every year they come up with a new cap or graduation charm and it's the same stuff. And then they retire it and they come up with a new one every year. Like, what? Hard work does, hard work pays off? Okay. Like, it's nice, but I just, it's beautiful. I'd say it's beautiful, beautifully made. I wish it was real gold. That'll make it worth more while. I don't think it is. It says metal right there, so it's just metal. Sixty-five, yeah, sixty-five dollars. If this was gold, I would love to have received this as a graduation gift or give it as a graduation gift, but not for plated. It's not gonna last long. It's well made, but I, I don't grab. I'm not graduating anymore. I'm done. <laughs> All right. I. Oops. What happened? There we go. I have seen this one already, circulating the Instagrams. Uh, I have mixed feelings on it. Um, first of all, here on the picture, it looks like plastic with glitter on top. That's what it looks like. It looks like plastic with glitter on top. I have seen the real life photos. Um, that does look better in real life, but I, I still haven't like seen it up close myself in a store <clears throat> to see what it looks like. I think it's pretty enough, but I'm scared the mom here will eventually get eroded it will it will it will there's no there's no 
you know, way around it. It will definitely get worn down to nothing. Um, which is to me kind of pointless. Like, what is the point of having the mom on the side? Or love. That's, again, beautiful sentiment, but... <clears throat> Plus, how many times has Pandora... Just how many iterations of Muranos do we need? We had, you know, the very first Muranos where the, we had the large core. And there was not a lot of glass on top. Because it was large core. And then they kind of, like, got better with the Muranos. And then they made a smaller core with bigger glass, which, is, which was more just desirable for me. It's more like troll beans. And now I feel like we're going back. We just don't know what we're doing here. We're reinventing the wheel once again with Pandora. It's a beautiful bead. It's a beautiful sentiment. But I just... <coughs> it's going to eventually wear down for 50 bucks. Uh, I guess nothing lasts forever. <laughs> I mean, to me, jewelry should last forever. Which is probably why I have such a hard time with the plated metals. Because to me, it should be able to, you should be able to, you know, leave this down to your family members, to your sisters, daughters, nieces, whatever. Whoever collects jewelry, you know, should be able to inherit all your jewelry pieces. That's the whole point. That's why I love jewelry. <clears throat> but not if it's going to not last with, you know, the... what is this? Um... I don't like this either. It's like the same thing. Well, at least this is pink. So it matches the pink here. I just don't like mixed metals. I mean, I do, but I don't know. I think the pink throws me off. The pink zirconias, I'm sorry, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, to me, you are perfect. Okay, that's nice. But I just I just don't care for this. I just, mm, blah. Another, another infinity. Mm, it's okay. 70 bucks, meh. All right, are we almost done? I'm getting bored. <laughs> if I'm getting bored, I'm sure you guys are getting bored. <laughs> Happy birthday gift open on all. So, oh, this one opens too. Now, this one, does it open because you like stick your fingernail and then pop it open? Or is it open because it's just like a two? Is it like two? Okay, I think it is two. So it's not really openable. It just opens and pops open whenever. I do have to say, I do love this beautiful pink enamel. It's a perf or cream color, whatever color this is. It's a beautiful compliment to the Pandora Rose. <clears throat> beautiful. I do like this. It's very soft. You know, whether it's a, a, a cream or just a very, the lightest baby pink I've ever seen. It's, it's gorgeous. I love this. This is, this is very nice. It kind of blends in a little bit though with the photograph, unfortunately, but you can sort of, you can still see it. I'm sure if you buy this in real life, you'll you'll be able to appreciate it better. Now I hope that just like their white enamel from the past, it doesn't absorb other um, colors. Uh, I've had the experience of wearing enamel on as rings and the enamel changing color because of like lotions. Even trying to be careful with, you know, handling it, it, it just, or even just your own skin oils could potentially change the color of the enamel. Having said that, I do know also in the past that white enamel has tended to yellow over time. Hopefully this looks to me like it's got a nice like coat on it, like a clear coat. I mean, what do I know? I don't know anything, but it, it, it looks like it to me. If it does, maybe that'll protect it from the rag ravages of time. $85, no, thank you. Uh, it was a birthday charm, right? Yeah. Okay, this one I remember too. I do not like this charm. I, I did not like the charm at all. I was actually pretty upset about it <clears throat> because it was not real pearls. It's pearlescent, whatever the hell that means. It's resin, I think. Oh, bio-resin, okay. Bio-resin, man-made mother of pearls. <laughs> What the hell does that mean? Bio resin. I think they're trying to make it sound like a pearl. So that's why it's a bio resin, but it's just resin. How could it be a bio resin? Like, I don't get it. I don't know. I didn't like it because it's fake. Give me real pearls any day. I mean, unless, unless someone can prove to me that this will withstand, you know, the wear and tear that most of us girls put on charms like this, then okay. Ugh, no, I just don't like it. 
It looks pretty online, but I'm pretty sure in real life it's like, huh, guess, guess what? We're fake and we feel fake and we look fake and we, we, yeah, no. Yeah. Plus, what does it say inside? I didn't even get that. What is it? Just mom? It says all, mom, all. It doesn't even, oh, maybe here I'll tell you. No. Polly says, thanks mom for all that you do. Okay. Most likely that's what it happened. What it says. Yeah, that's a big note for seventy dollars to get buy to get bio resin. I'm I'm good, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, what's this? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Splittable mother daughter dangle charm. Once again, we have the BFF charm. Oh, we all know and love. Oh, what is this? Oh, coupon. Okay. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Um, with the uh, split cute zirconia. It's pretty. I like the bail. Like that it's thinner. That means you can wear it as a necklace. I always like that option. Um, but I just feel like it, it's okay. I mean, again, mother daughter, it's it's nice, but my mom doesn't do jewelry, so I don't get to buy this. <laughs> so maybe it's me. Maybe that's my hang up, and that's why I don't really care for these because my mom doesn't really collect things. So, so if I daughter, it's not too bad because technically you're getting two charms for the price of one. So this is pretty. I would buy this if my mom collected, but she doesn't. I don't need to. So it, I. To give that my stamp of approval. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired of these mixed metals with the pink. I don't like this pink with the Pandora Rose. I don't like it. It's too busy. It's too many colors. I don't. Oh, if it was clear, I probably. That's just my opinion, though, again. It's just me. Oh, is that enamel? Or is that crystal with enamel? I don't. I don't like it. I'm sorry, guys. I just don't like it. What is it? Let me see. Uh, pink heart shaped cabochon stone on one side with an engraved heart on the back visible through the stone. Creating a frosted look. Okay. Oh! Oh, okay. I. Alright. Well. Okay. I still don't care. <laughs> $70, you. Seventy dollars. What uh are we almost done? No, we all oh my god, okay. Um I do remember this one too last time. I had mixed feelings about it. I did not love it because I felt like this was not a complete wing. I feel like either make it all uniform, like bring the zirconias all the way down, or don't have draconians at all and, and, and have the winged effect go up, the smooth. But don't kind of half ass it. Don't don't do just halfway. Just that bothers me. I feel like my 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 eye wants to go all the way down and it doesn't and it bothers me. You know? Oh shit. <laughs> I was trying to close it. <laughs> there we go. Um Yeah, it bothers me. It bothers me that it doesn't go all the way down. So it just, it feels like my eye gets interrupted and it just, meh. I just don't like it. It's like unfinished. Raise like a, like another wing layer on top of one. I, I don't know. Just don't like it. And this is weird because of the little, what is it? Of the little, um, cute zirconias. Now we have more holes, which is nice that they had some star shaped ones to kind of like make it not all circles. But again, hopefully you don't get triggered. <laughs> You left my world, but never my heart. See, that's really sweet. That's what makes me like pain for this, like ache for this charm because of, you know, a lot of mothers aren't around anymore. Like my grandmother passed away. It's gonna be my mom's first Mother's Day without her mom. So it's gonna be very hard. So I'm not sure how we're gonna deal with that. <laughs> it's gonna be a hard day, but I just, I don't know. Like this is beautiful. I love, love the sentiment, but I just don't like, I just feel like this was not executed properly. I just don't like it, unfortunately. And I love wings. I love anything angelic and celestial and it's just kind of meh. All right, what else? This I did like. <clears throat> I don't care for the pink, the, the, the rose, gold, whatever. But I love that it says grandmother, mother, daughter. That's lovely. I love it. You could wear them all at once to, you know, what is it? To uh, represent the generations in your family, especially if they're gone, you know. Um, but why does that be plated? And why the bail of all things? That's like the part that's going to get worn the most. It's going to be worn down the most. Who is backing up out there? 
I wonder if you guys can hear it. Probably can. This microphone's pretty good. Um, excuse the beeping. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, why not just make it real, real rose gold or real yellow gold? I don't know. I did. I don't mind it as much though. That is Pandora Rose up here. I don't mind it as much, but I just don't feel like it's needed. I just feel like they're trying to up the price, honestly, and it's not needed. Honestly, it's not. Yeah, but I do like this charm a lot. Eighty-five dollars. That's not that bad. Eighty-five. It's like getting three for eighty-five dollars. But um, yeah, I, I bet you it could have been sixty-five if it was all silver, and not rose gold. So. I guess worst case scenario, if you really treasure this charm and eventually the Pandora Rose gold plate wears off down to the whatever the core is, because I don't think it's still in silver anymore. I think it's literally base metal. Um, you can always replace them with the real sterling silver bales at any jeweler. So that's not the end, you know, the end of that. This one I remembered bothered me because the heart looks weird here. It looks like it's melting. <laughs> It doesn't look like it's uniform. Like here is the edge, the top part of the heart. So we try to go across or across, across, across. I feel like it's taller than it would be to accommodate the cap. <laughs> I, I, I know it's stupid, something dumb. I know it's just my OCD being weird. <coughs> Excuse me. My asthma has been acting up a little bit because of the pollen. Yeah, I'm um, boo. Whatever. It's fine. I don't like it. It's okay. I really get the cap. The gold one. The fake gold one. <laughs> Alright, we're almost done. Uh, Two-tone open and work infinity heart charm. It's just more infinity. Although, I have to say, the fact that it hangs and dangles here, it's actually kind of cute. Family is love. Oh, okay. So, it's more family. <laughs> At least it's not a tree. <laughs> um, I do like this. The two hearts like this. It's, it's a little bit different for Pandora, which is nice. See, I like I love that. Oh, okay. So I remember my question from last time. Does anyone know if this is soldered? Because right here, it almost looks like it's soldered. Right here, it looks like it's joined. I bet you, I'm sure you guys can't really see. Can I zoom out more? No, I can't zoom in more. Um, does anyone already buy this charm and let me know if it's soldered? Because I'm just curious. Or does it spin? Does it kind of like swivel? Which is what I would like for it to happen, to swivel. Or does it just say here and I'm just being stupid for not reading? Mm, the two tones and there's a tribute to your family's infinite love. The top part of the charm is sterling. So, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Linked. It's a swirling shape. Linked through it's a smaller heart in order to represent your friend linked to your family. It's really her. It doesn't say. It doesn't say if it moves. So can someone tell me? If it does, I'm very curious. I would love to know if it swivels back and forth, which would, to me would make it like that much nicer, you know, for $35 on top of that, that's even if even, and he, he, it's even played like got the rose gold on it. So it's like amazing that it's only $35. That's like a really good deal. If you like the plated, plated stuff. Um, this is very nice. I probably would get this myself, but again, I don't need more stuff. I'm good. <laughs> okay. And we're going to end it with super mom. Apparently. Oh God. Okay. How much is this? 35? 25 wow $25 okay let's start with the negative first <laughs> and then we'll end with positive <laughs> negative I've never loved the oh number one mom or super mom or I'm Wonder Woman mom or whatever it just it's always bothered me I won't get into details as to why because then I'll get in trouble <laughs> <laughs> I will get in trouble. I promise you guys I'll get in trouble. Uh, you guys will come for me. I don't want that. I will keep those to myself. <laughs> Let's just say, to be polite, that I literally, I don't know if I want to say ended friendships or lost friendships. I don't know. Maybe, you know what? Let's just say acquaintances because if they were real friends, then they would not have let the relationship get to where it was in a nutshell i've known plenty of women who i got along with very well had a really great relationship with considered them friends 
they got married they had babies and their her their, their whole personality changed and they became moms which is fine that's okay if you're a mom great you're a mom but it consumed them they lost their personality and that was it like i had nothing in common after that with them like i i, I couldn't bond with them the same i couldn't even talk to them the same because they wouldn't talk to me sometimes which is kind of i know my oh my hair that's cute let's start over um yeah i'm getting a little personal here which i apologize um yeah so so they stopped talking to me because i was in a mom like they were so then all the new moms would get together and do stuff and chat and then i would come and try to like become part of that chat group because i mean i mean in, in person in real life like at a party not in a chat group like text and I would just stand there because I had nothing in common with these women who have, had become mothers now and had nothing else on their minds but their babies. And I get it, you know, when your mom would be like, oh, my baby's the cutest baby. I, I get that. I do. But if, if you know, you're just mom now, you can't be like my friend anymore, then I guess it is what it is. So I literally had to end several relationships because, and not end them, just like unfollowed, unsubscribed. You know, I stopped talking to them because all oh, they became were moms and I apparently I wasn't good enough to talk to them anymore. So that's a little insight into my sad little life. <laughs> so anyways, going back to the freaking charm jewelry, which is what we're supposed to talk about. I've never liked the super mom stuff because I, it just rose me the wrong way because of my previous experiences, unfortunately. Like, I'm super mom. I can do it all. I cook and I clean and I have a good 30, 40 hour, you know, work job thingy. And I'm still a super mom and I'm there for my kids. And I'm just like, oh, okay. So, again, a little insight into my sad life. Um, having said that, this is cute. <laughs> I, I mean, this to me is more of, a child gifting them to mom. Like, you know, dad taking the little one to Pandora and saying, hey, which charm do you want? And then they, you know, kind of push him into this charm because I've seen it. You know, like I've been in the stores watching, you know, parents or dads try to shop for their kids or their, you know, wives to their children and say, which do you like? And then they go pick the ugliest charm and the dad's like, no, 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 how about this charm? <laughs> so the child ends up buying mom the super mom charm, right? my hero which is cute if it comes from a child like a little child not like a grown child who gives this to the mom but you know your mom could be your hero as an adult so i'm not negating that i'm not pooping on it i'm not i just don't like it myself you know i think it's cute it's well done my hero little heart you know my mom's my hero but i don't think she needs a charm for me to tell her that i'd rather just tell her that versus me buying her a charm that's a super mom enough of that <laughs> since i went off on a tangent uh, again insight into genre's sad life i apologize for if i offended anyone i didn't mean to it's just my personal experience what happened to me in my life i can count on probably several two hands more than two hands five fingers ten fingers how many times i had to unfollow people on facebook because they stopped being my friends so yep anyways i hope you had fun <laughs> Where is this bangle, by the way? Let's try check out the bangle. There we go. Maybe it's oh, maybe it's not. It's not for sale individually, huh? Because it's a promotion, so you may not be here. Yeah, it's not gonna be here. Let me see two new arrivals. It might be part of the collection after Mother's Day, but yeah, because of promotion, it's not available for. Well, having said that, I don't. You know what? Let me zoom in from here. I don't love it. It reminds me of Spider-Man. <laughs> we just saw a Spider-Man bangle right now. It reminds me of Spider-Man because it looks like webbing. So I get that it's hard to redesign these every year, you know, for Mother's Day. I totally get it. I know it must be hard to come up with a design that's fresh and unique and different every single year. So I get it. Uh, I don't love it. <laughs> And now that I'm seeing these two back to back right here, side to side, I just, something just dawned on me. I just realized this is smooth. 
and this is not. This is still that twisted, which most charms don't even twist anymore. They don't screw on like they used to. They don't even have a core that you twist on. They're all open. But it's nice that they still have this as a remnant of what they used to be. But something just dawned on me. By the way, these used to be a little bit bigger, the twist. But again, to cut on costs, they shortened it. Um, the reason they don't have the twisties on the panda rose as i'm going to assume because as you twist on and screw on the, the charms back and forth and back and forth i'm sure the gold would be worn down and you would see the base metal underneath which is why it's smooth <laughs> wow that just dawned on me i did not realize that i just always wondered why it was made differently now it's just like boom right there in your face because this would wear off eventually okay all right, enough of roasting Pandora, enough of my pathetic little life. I hope you had a good time with me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my first impressions on the Mother's Day collection from Pandora. In conclusion, in summarizing, I think it's okay. There were some beautiful gold pieces I would say for sure I would take, the, especially the family tree one. Oh, it was precious. I would definitely buy that. Um... The pearl, I liked it, but not like I don't have, I don't need more gold charms. <coughs> the, I think it was the I love you seal, the wax seal. That was also a keeper, I think. Um, I don't think I need it, but the family tree one with the heart, the gold, that one was, yes, that was definitely yes for me. Of course, I'm not going to spend $400 <laughs> on them, so I'll never get it, but you know, I did like it. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for spending some time with me. I am so sorry if I got too personal. If I triggered anyone <laughs> with either my personal Mother's Day experience, not Mother's Day, but mom, mom, mom friends, their experience there and or with the circle phobia. I, I, I am so sorry about that. So apologies there. Um, I was going to do a next video. I do have a couple. Well, not a couple anymore. I do have a haul video that I've been meaning to like film. It's just that I lost a little bit of interest and it's hard because when I filmed, Ninja would come and hang out with me. So it's hard, but I'm still trying to push through. So maybe I'll, I'll try to film that. We'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll break down a couple times, but um, it'll be fine. <laughs> and I, I also got a request to film my Troll Beans collection. I haven't really up well. No, that's not true. I did buy a couple of troll bees pieces last Christmas, last December. I have yet to add them to my bracelet, you guys. Not how sad. I've had them on my dresser until like recently. I put them in my jewelry box finally, like in my closet. They're not even my jewelry box. In my closet, they're still wrapped in their little tissue paper. I haven't bothered adding them to my bracelets. That's how disinterested I've been in jewelry lately. So I did, I think I did buy like, oh, I want to say six pieces, but it could just be more like four because it was so expensive. So expensive. It was like $300 for like four. I hope it was six beans. If it was six beans, it'd be more worth it. But my gosh, everything's so expensive. Anyways, so I do have a couple things I've been wanting to film. It's just been kind of hard to do so. So I'm just kind of waiting to see when I'm like, feel like it or if I'm ready. So I'm not going to give you guys a stay tuned for that because I hardly do YouTube anymore now. I just do it when I want to roast Pandora with the new collections. Thank you so much again, guys, for spending some time with me. And until next time, whenever that will be, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.